So it all started back in 2011 at a Planet Fitness Gym. I had just got into working out on the regular. I was about 240 pounds. I was very overweight. I just got sick and tired of my stomach coming over my belt, you know, I wasn't confident in a t-shirt. I definitely wasn't confident with a shirt off. I was only about 21, 22 years old, and it was people that were older than me that were looking better than me, and I just knew that it was time for a change. So that's when I just became just full-blown addicted to cardio. So what I would do is I would do a cardio workout followed by a resistance workout, but the way I was doing my cardio was a little bit out of control because I would do anywhere from 30 minutes to 60 minutes on the arc trainer which is still probably my favorite cardio machine of all time and like i said man by the time i got off of the arc trainer i had like done a full-blown workout where i could have went home and you know really just been good with that but after that i would go into my you know resistance training and like i said this is 2011 2012 i didn't know really much of anything about how to really structure you know a workout plan i didn't really have any clear goals other than losing weight but quite frankly you know it really worked i got down in weight and you know the more mature and just uh i guess seasoned uh i got with fitness i realized that the way i was going about the cardio it was good because it ain't nothing to it but to do it but when you really want to zero in on a specific goal other than just losing weight doing cardio before you work out may not be the best approach so in this video i just want to go over what i feel is the best time to do cardio you know doing cardio before you work out versus after you work out and you know just want to throw in my experience and how i go about doing it based on the given goal that i have at a certain time so like I said, up until about 2015, I just really wanted to just stay lean. So I really wasn't too well versed in like actual structure of a workout plan. So like I said, cardio was definitely, uh, that was my like primary objective, like do the cardio, burn the calories, then, you know, just lift weights. But around, I'd say 2016, when I really got into like the bulking and cutting, um, you know, as it pertains to like really trying to like body build and really bring like peak conditioning as far as like size and cuts, I started to do research and I started to notice that when I do my cardio before I work out, like I said, burning calories, calories in, calories out is good, but when you're when your goal is to maintain and preserve as much muscle as you can, you know, I've come to learn that whatever you prioritize is kind of where your body is going to follow suit and what i mean by that is you know if you want to preserve muscle or even build muscle you got to prioritize strength training resistance training lifting weights lifting heavy weights you know shoulder days back days chest arms legs you name it and you know when i started doing that approach where i started putting the weights first I would notice that my body would respond different I would like end up looking different still lean still you know I would get to the weight loss now the fat loss would be a little bit slower but that's because by me prioritizing my resistance training it's like I was losing weight at a slower pace but I noticed that I was you know maintaining just a little bit more muscle now this could be a good thing and a bad thing because like i said if your primary goal like mine was in 2011 is just to lose weight and you really don't care about being muscle man or muscle woman and you know you just want to burn calories and get slim just do your calories i mean i'm sorry just do your cardio calories in calories out you got to be in a caloric deficit no matter what burn more calories than you take in and boom there is no magic trick that's the only way to do it but if you're more so into bodybuilding and you kind of want to preserve some size you know doing your cardio after you weight train is more beneficial because you'll get more out of hitting the weights first you'll have a better you know resistance weightlifting session because to be honest 
you know, even if you do like 15 to 20 minutes or whatever energy you expel through doing cardio first, you're gonna take away from your weight training. You know what I mean? You're not gonna be able to hit the weights as hard. And you know, there's a certain uh, truth to overtraining. You can overtrain and overtraining can really lead to just not hitting your fitness goals at all, especially as it pertains to like really cutting down, you know, maintaining cuts and having your muscles respond. I haven't really had an issue, like I said, doing cardio first when it pertains to like losing weight, but the way your body, you know, processes what you do, it all, it's all goes on off of the actions that you take. So my takeaway that I want you to have from this video is that if you are just interested in losing weight, you know what I'm saying? If you're interested in just getting skinny, no matter how you, your body composition will look in the end, then, you know, prioritize cardio. You can throw in a little bit of strength training. I wouldn't really stress doing it before or doing it after, you know, no matter what, because if you burn calories, if you eat less than what you burn, your body's not gonna have any say in the matter or any choice but to start dipping into the fat stores and, you know, using your store fat as energy, burning that energy, and then, you know, when there's nothing left, boom, you're losing weight, you're losing fat, you know. Where it's gonna come from, you can't you can't spot burn fat, so it's gonna start pulling from wherever it wants to pull from. However your genetic makeup is and how that happens, it's different for everybody, you know? I tend to hold a lot of weight in my midsection, you know, back and all that, so that's gonna be the last to come off, actually. Everything else comes off first, which sucks, which is why for me, if I wanna maintain the muscle, I gotta hit those weights first, man. I got to prioritize lifting, breaking down the muscle, building up the muscle. It's even better too, um, if you guys follow me back in 2019, you would know I did my uh, bodybuilding show, my men's physique show. What I what I had to do to, become, to, to come in at peak shape for that was I had to work out two a days, man. I, I was doing two a days. I wanted to get the most out of my cardio and my weight training. So, you know, by me working a nine to five, which was really ain't a traditional nine to five, it was overnight. That's a whole nother story. I had to really uh, break up my workouts. I had to do my cardio sessions in the morning, uh, you know, cardio, sometimes abs, and I had to do whatever weight lifting, weight training uh, I had scheduled, whatever day, you know. You can look at my uh, videos I posted around that time, some of my workout split videos, you'll see exactly what I was doing. Go back to summer of 2019, the videos I posted around that time, and you'll see me talking about it. You know, I was doing two a days, I was, you know, fast the cardio off the fat burner, and to be honest, I did that from July 2019 through the middle of August, and that's really how I came in shape and, you know, bought in the cuts with the maintain as much muscle as I could. You know what I mean? So, in a nutshell, if your goal, like my goal, is to become lean but maintain muscle, prioritize that weightlifting first, but get them calories uh, burnt, you know, in whatever form of cardio you like. After you lift weights, man, whether it be, you know, walking for 20 or 30 minutes uh, after your workout, if you don't have the luxury of doing two days, which I ain't had the luxury, I had to make it happen, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, knock out the two days. And one thing I can say is once you get lean and get to where you want to get to, it's easier to maintain than, you know, when you're trying to get it. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and leave this video. I know that was a lot of information. Like I said, if you want to hear just more things, get more tips about how I structured my like uh, cutting plan back in that time. Like I said, check out my videos around summer. I would say anywhere from May to August 2019 on my channel. I think it's actually a playlist I have. Um, I'll link that in the card above my men's physique. Um, pretty much cutting the videos that I did around that time. Check those out. Subscribe to your boy's channel for more videos. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, baby.